you're worried about your life not having adventure, like you can make your life adventurous. It's just not going to be easy. <laughs> yeah. Like you, you've got to make it a little tougher, and because yeah. that, that's the only way it's going to be interesting. Otherwise, you know you can do it, and then what's the point? Like I can, you can drive to the beach and you know, spend a day on the beach, and come back, and you'll get exactly what you yeah. expect. You know, some sand, some sunburn, and you know, one step closer to alcoholism. So I know we said we were going to take uh, fewer breaks to try to make up some of the miles and we're losing time, but I can't see a goddamn thing. <laughs> tried to wipe them off, didn't you? Yeah, I, Big I, I, mistake. I, I tried to do a little swipe and just smeared gnat guts everywhere. We're actually on a reservation right now, as you can tell, it's just rife with crime. Street gangs, violence everywhere. Very dangerous place. A lot of stray animals. They actually are kind of a lot of stray animals. Just tucking away miles. Just tucking away miles, 70 to 80 miles an hour, and all you can see is what your headlight illuminates. And the lines, I don't know if the lines are just like closer spaced here, but it makes you look like you're going like Mach 3. Like, vroom, 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 vroom. We're gonna go on the road at any moment, and then, you know, Tuck away some more miles. Tuck away some Pop-Tarts. What's going on, Ian? <laughs> well, loose strap sinks ships. Says he felt, feels like he felt a bungee pop him in the back. What actually happened is one of his straps got wound up down here in the sprocket. I guess you can't quite see. And, uh, Tore a plastic clip right off his bag. When we cut, when I cut my headlight off, there's just fucking nothing wow, out here. This is actually, you can see the Milky Way. Holy shit, you can. I guess I, I don't suppose a camera can pick up any of that. It's just all blackness to you. Shit, we might have to have a contemplative moment. We are a small blue dot, that's for sure. Well, as usual, most of our footage takes place at gas stations. I like to think that that's just a, a byproduct of having machines that have to eat at gas stations. I love I love gas stations. Gas stations are really one of, like one of my most terrible vices. They have everything I want in the world, like greasy, like hot dogs, potato chips, gasoline. Occasionally, temporary tattoos. Temporary tattoos, tobacco products. They're really, really fine establishments. Making great time, pushing 70 to 85 through these streets occasionally. Although we immediately knew we got to North Dakota because the uh, yeah. road quality disappeared. All the all the uh, the little fluorescent lights on the side of the road disappeared. Well, we've had a bit of an emergency. Uh, we had some rough roads going down. Are the camera works. Uh, US 12. Right, right. turned to gravel unexpectedly. Turned to gravel real. I don't know if you can tell with the headlight, but it so came who, gravel. Who do you think spilled? The good news is George is fine. This camera's fine. Landed on the right side of George's bike and promptly <laughs> severed his front brake line. Of all the fucking things. We had an extra brake line too. So the only real option now, since we don't have any way to connect that, is for George to continue with just his rear brake. Well, is it? I mean, there's no way you think we can fix it. No. Stay tuned. We're gonna take a look at this. We still have several hundred miles to go to complete this challenge, so uh, we're gonna try to manage something and get on the road quickly. I mean, I don't know how I feel about driving. I mean, that rear brake on fucking North Dakota roads. I mean, honestly, we haven't been using the brake a whole lot. I just, you know, we've been engine braking a lot. God damn. I mean, I guess if the gravel is just soft enough that it just sunk in, the brake... We have this, we have this, we have this. Pick the one thing we don't have. Well, my adrenaline's fucking going bananas right now. Whew! To me, the funny part about this, the irony right now is, I can't help but think back on something we've talked about a little bit, is uh, the fact that we thought we were going to be bored. <laughs> Like the fact that we were too concerned, this is going to be too easy and we're going to have to have spontaneous boredom challenges. This is not, this is not 
conflict introduced for conflict's sake. The the real question, the only the only problem is now that like this is not interfering with our plans so much. It's only interfering with whether we're going to complete this thousand mile challenge. And you know we're halfway done. It's not risk. It's not worth risking Georgia's safety. But uh, um, we're not we're not learning anything from this about driving at night. I learned nothing from this about driving at night. For the record, North Dakota needs to fucking mark their shitty roads better. So, because today wasn't hard enough already, I have run out of gas. We, yeah, we, so we've been about 100 miles and we saw a sign that said the next town was 80. And we do not carry that much gas. So, I mean, and of course, the, the gas station that we rolled through in our normal, you know, 90 to 110 gas stop was closed till 5 a.m. So we decided to push it. And it sounds like there's gas in there, just it doesn't want to go down the drain. I'm still not even on reserve yet, so worst case we could drain some of my gas into his bike, but that'll take time, and I don't know how much gas I have to give, so we're really hoping we can push just a little bit further our 1,000 mile challenge. That's cool, truck. We don't need help. We don't look ridiculous. If we, if we do get gas, we will have to haul ass in order to complete the 1,000 mile challenge. Okay, well we're somewhere near Mile City and Ian and I got split up because my bike ran out of gas and he, he got his started and then mine ran out of gas. So we had just been battling for the last 15 miles, not knowing where each other are, just tipping the bikes and sloshing them. You do this pirate swagger thing where you lean way off the bike like on a sailboat to try to get the gas tipped down onto reserve. And it's really incredible that we milked another 15, 20 miles, met up with each other. And we really feel like, I mean, we're in Miles City now. I really, Ian had a little bit more gas than me, so he's farther down there. I really hope that those lights in the distance are a gas station, because I can probably push my bike that far. It's about 4.30. Can't use engine braking, because I'll burn the gas. I only have the rear brake. If deer jumps out, if deer jump out, I'm fucked. I just really hope that's gas up there. Ian! What a fucking night. If we get all this done, then we'll just have to fucking race to Butte with no brake and short gas stops. Fucking unreal. So Ian has managed to fill up his bike down the road. Now we're somehow going to have to get gas into my bike. Ian is going to siphon some gas out of his tank by huffing it down. Just going to tuck it away there. Just tucking away some gasoline. Into his 20 ounce bottle. Oh. And then we're going to pour it into my tank. God, I'm gonna do this. It's not work. Oh, we don't have any other water, do we? I have some. <laughs> that. Guys, it's poisonous, right? Yes. Is it not getting low enough? Wanna get you my water? Yeah, give me some of your water. Ugh. I'll have a little bit. Make you count. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a shot. I've never I've never uh, siphoned out of a gas tank before. You have to just like get it until it starts flowing and then just you know. Okay, I'll, I'll well here, take the camera and the light. Yeah. Can handle the rest of it. Oh, oh God. Okay, so you got that. Okay. Perfect. Ah. Oh, God. At least I'm going to do that one time. Because only if this is enough. Because otherwise, you have to do it every time we refill. Oh. Okay, what do we do? We try to fill it up. Ah. Fuck. Running out of time. Oh, no, we want that water. We want that water. I know, no, I was gonna give it to you. Just lift, lift the uh, thing up. All right. Oh, oh, god. Ah. <coughs> ah. All right. Well, twenty ounces of gasoline, bitches. 
drink up, you fat hog. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. That better. I want some dinosaur in your diet. Quick shot before we go. This is the last time you'll see us. We are running a little bit behind. So we're gonna put helmets on and not take them off till we get to Butte. About 400 miles to go. Maybe a change to haul ass. Six we may or may not make it. Yeah, six hours. Yeah, six hours to go 400 miles. The math is not good. We did the math, and we were going to have to average 60 miles an hour all the way to Butte if we didn't stop. So with my front brakes out and our headsets dead, we went 100 miles an hour for six hours.